Okay, so let's do a Y delta connection. We'll start with the Y primary side. So first thing we need to do is we need to take all our H2 bushings, connect them together. Once they're connected together, we're not going to tie it to ground. Um, so a common saying with a Y delta connection is Y delta you float, meaning that the H2 bushings are connected together, but they're not tied to ground. So Y delta you float. Now each H1 bushing is just going to go up to a phase. Take this H1 over to C phase. So we've got our H1s going to each phase, A, B, and C phase, and our H2s are connected together, but not to ground. And that's our primary Y connection. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the secondary side. So for our secondary connection, we're only going to utilize one of the X2 bushings as our neutral. So we're going to take the center one down to ground, and this X2 bushing will be our neutral. The other two, the, the two other X2 bushings will not be connected to ground. Only one, one bushing is, and we've designated our center one as that neutral connection. So our other connections here is we're going to take the X1 and take it over to X3. Uh, we're going to take the X1 from the center transformer and take it over to the X3 on the transformer on the far right. And then our last connection, we'll take the X3, come all the way across, and we're going to connect to the X1 on the far right hand side. Okay, so now we're just going to run our hot legs down. And that's going to be on the center transformer. Your hot legs are going to be the two connections off the transformer that has your, your X2 bushing connected to ground, to the, which is your neutral connection. So we've got two hot legs. They're off the transformer that's connected to the neutral. Your last connection is going to be your power leg. And the way you identify your power leg is it's one and a half coils from the neutral. So what I mean by that is we've got one full coil in this transformer, half a coil in this transformer till you get to the neutral. So this power leg right here is one and a half coils away from our neutral. And that's how you identify your power leg. Now this is important because if sometimes you can be using these connections and you need to hook up a single phase load, like to a home. Well, if you're hooking up to a home, you want to make sure and utilize the two hot legs and your neutral. You don't want to hook the power leg up to the single phase load because that'll pump too much voltage into the home. And that's when you can burn up uh, electronics like computers and TVs, things of that sort. So you always want to identify your power leg and it's only utilized for the three phase power. That's the only reason why you're utilizing it. Um, one of the advantages of a system like this, a Y delta, is you can use on the primary side, it can be used in a three wire or a four wire system. So like a, a delta or an ungrounded Y three wire system. Or you can utilize it on a grounded Y system where you have four wires. On the secondary side, an advantage is um, if you lose power in one transformer, for temporary purposes, you can just hook up two transformers and uh, still serve power with a single phase and three phase. The one thing you have to keep in mind is it's only 57.7% is efficient, so it should only be for, for a temporary use. Uh, that's it for a uh, wide delta connection, guys. Thanks a lot.